G'day guys and gal, in virtually every single fantasy setting ever made, being a wizard is sick. You can throw fireballs at people you don't like, give yourself some hectic girth, or even perform a self tug of the old boat without using your hands. While this is all possible in Warhammer, being a wizard, or a psyker as they're called in the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, has let's say a few drawbacks. I know this will make me sound like a massive pussy, but I would much rather be Harry Potter than Gerald the Psyker. Before we get started, quarter of a million, not a bad number if I say so myself. To honor this actually quite decent milestone, we'll be doing a drunk stream this Friday. Times will be on the screen, cause yeah, it's a bit too much of a head scratcher to figure it out on the spot, but you know the drill. The more you donate, the more I drink. Previous drunk streams have involved me blacking out, getting naked, backflipping, and waking up in a pile of my own vomit. Who's keen? I know I am. Today we'll go over the lore of the Psyker, where they come from, the different types of Psykers, and the different power levels of Psykers, and what spicy things a Psyker can do. Let's get into it. Pretty much every problem in Warhammer 40k can be traced back to Psykers. Sure, the Age of Strife did involve an evil AI uprising, but it didn't help that Psykers popped out of nowhere and then mutated into big gaping portals to hell. The Elder were only able to murder fuck Slaanesh into existence because they were so psychic, and if it wasn't for Magnus doing something wrong with his psychic powers, the setting would look very different. Like Warhammer could almost be used as a realistic prediction of our future if it weren't for all these whack job space wizards running around. Like look at the Tau, one of the only races without psychers, and their standard of living, policies and attitude is actually pretty good. I'm sure Necrons would be the same if they weren't still salty about the old ones not teaching them how to make sunscreen. So where do these galactic pains in the ass come from? Well in Warhammer there's this uh, little thing called the warp, which is like a huge ocean of souls and energy that is separate from real space. Real space being, you know, space that is real. The warp has been a bit of a shithole recently, courtesy of the gods of chaos, but that doesn't necessarily make the use of the warp evil. The warp is constantly leaking out its influence into real space, which over time causes sentient creatures to gain an affinity and use for the warp. For example, the main reason why the Tau haven't developed psychers yet is because they are a very new race that only recently became sentient. If the Tau are able to survive a couple more dozen thousands of years, they too will probably have wizards among their ranks. There are some animals, mostly predators, that are able to make use of the warp, so it's not only sentient creatures. However, these animals mostly develop these abilities due to warp exposure and not just evolution. This video will focus on the human psychers though, because the human race is the superior race. Checkmate libtards. The first known instance of human psychers were the ancient shamans, who used the warp to reincarnate and maintain their memories. However, as the warp continued to darken and produce more and more evil warp entities, less shamans were able to successfully reincarnate, as their souls would be consumed during their voyage into the warp. As psychic souls are brighter and more delicious than normal souls, the entities were attracted to them like a necrophiliac in a graveyard. Eventually, they were like, fuck this, and they performed mass harikari, killing themselves simultaneously, which caused all their bright powerful souls to merge into one mega soul. This soul reincarnated to become the Emperor of Mankind. Now I know this is old lore, but it hasn't been retconned yet, so that's our current canon, and I kinda like it. You see, after all the shamans performed this ritual, there was next to no psychers on Earth other than the Emperor. As psychic powers are mostly genetic, by choosing to create the Emperor, they delayed mankind's ascension to a psychic race by thousands of years, for better or for worse. After thousands of years, mankind still had pretty much no psychers. We reached a very high level of technological advancement, but we still couldn't quite crack the code to travel faster than light, hence our galactic expansion was slow. This was until the 18th millennium, when the warp drive was completed. Trips that would take a fucking long ass time could now be completed in weeks or even days. Then in the 22nd millennium, out of nowhere, navigators began to pop up. Mankind's first genuine step towards becoming a psychic race. Navigators are very specialized psychers who are born with a third eye that can peer into the warp and accurately direct ships through the warp much faster, safer, and on longer distances than the computers and machines that humanity previously relied on. 
it seems that they've begun to appear as a sort of evolutionary step for mankind. Navigators to this day remain quite rare, hence all navigators are treated like royalty, and boy oh boy do they know how to party. When they aren't literally gazing into the moor of hell itself, they fucking send it. Heroin, hookers, halo, the holy trinity of H's is their bread and butter. Can't blame them in the slightest. If my job was to safely guide millions of people through hell, I would be fucking stressed out as well. Throughout the dark age of technology, navigators were pretty much the only human psychers around. The emperor was in hiding, biding his time, hence technology and science was the true magic of the 20th to the 30th millennium. Then, the age of strife occurred. Yes, the murder robots didn't help, but mankind would have actually been able to rebuild itself if it wasn't for the elder sudden taste for death and orgies. See, the space elves had achieved such technological advancement that there was no need for them to fight their own wars or perform any hard labor at all. They were all the equivalent of trillionaires, lived for thousands of years, and upon death, could easily reincarnate with all their memories intact. Hence, they got bored. Like, really fucking bored. And they started having a galactic blood orgy. Due to their psychic nature, this caused massive warp storms, which cut off mankind's emperor from itself. Many worlds designated for mining or other resources where there was very little naturally occurring food starved to death, whilst others became easy prey for ruthless aliens. As a result of the increased warp activity, or maybe just bad timing, the second wave of mankind's wizards began to appear. This was the first appearance of genuine psychers in mankind's empire. People with the power to move things with their mind, fly, read thoughts. On some worlds, they were seen as genuine superheroes. On other worlds, they were seen as witches and burnt at the stake. It really was a case by case scenario. Ironically, the backwards bigoted worlds who burnt their psychers actually made the right call, as eventually the warp got so dark from the elders' fuck fiesta that demons began to invade the minds of human psychers. Some were able to block the demonic possession, but most were untrained and not ready. Millions of psychers of countless worlds were either possessed by demons and destroyed their worlds, or were straight up turned into a chaos portal. Either way, mankind took another huge L because of the psychers. As a result of this, many previously inhabitable and even verdant worlds were turned into lifeless husks by the time they were rediscovered by the Imperium of Man. Eventually, Karma did come for the Elder, as Slaanesh was born and ate 99% of the Elder Empire, creating the Eye of Terror, which was like a midway point between the warp and real space. One benefit of Slaanesh's birth was that it blew away most of the warp storms and once again allowed for interstellar travel to take place, hence kicking the Emperor into gear and starting off the setting as we know it today. Psychers have continued to appear in greater and greater numbers, but due to the existence of the black ships, which are ships that basically come past each planet and pick up any psychers that pop up there, as well as mankind knowing how to deal with psychers better, hectic demonic psycher portals are a lot less common. So what kind of psychers does the Imperium have now? Well, I'll explain by pretending that you, my very sexy viewer, are a person who has just discovered that you have psycho powers. Yay. Actually, not yay, fuck that. Normally, you would be taken into custody and the Imperium would be notified that they had a psycho. A black ship would arrive and pick you up. Attempting to resist would lead to your death, as most black ships have sisters of silence on them that can fuck up even the best psychers pretty easily. Once taken, you are processed by the Imperium to determine your fate. If you are a decrepit creature with no discipline, you will likely just get shot in the head. If you have solid psychic powers, but you don't seem like you'd be able to handle your powers very well unsupervised, you will likely be fed to the Golden Throne to keep it running. Other psychers who seem pretty solid could be turned into an astropath, which are people who can rapidly send and receive psychic messages over extreme distances. Or if you're lucky, you'll be turned into a sanctioned psyker, which means you'll either go up and join with the Astra Militarum and aid them on the battlefield, or you'll be taken into an Inquisitor's retinue, maybe even one day becoming an Inquisitor yourself. The strain of being a psyker can really take its toll though. Every astropath is described as incredibly frail and aged due to the pressure on their bodies from performing their role, whilst high-level psychers are often described as ugly and mutated due to the raw war power coursing through their veins. In order to help stabilize and fortify the mind of a sanctioned psyker, they must soul bind with the Emperor, a process that hurts like a fucking bitch but makes them hard to possess and also empowers their abilities. 
I'm not sure if soul binding is still canon because it seems very weird that every sanctioned cycle would need to go to Terra, get somewhat close to the big E, and then let him penetrate their soul. Like, as if the Emperor can be fucked. Surely he has other shit to do, but hey, what do I know? I'm just a dumb piece of shit YouTuber. Not every psyker can do the same shit. For example, Chaos Psychers are a lot more creative due to the fact that they can perform warp sorcery, which leans more towards the magic side of psychic powers. Imagine that normal psychic abilities is like the force from Star Wars. You got force push, force lightning, force kick him in the dick, whilst warp sorcery is all that dark ritual sacrifice bullshit. Eisenhorn, for example, doesn't really show off a Kamehameha, but he can force people to obey him using a power that he calls the will. Occasionally, Eisenhorn can also overload someone's senses with psychic power so hard that their eyes pop out of their head. Then you have people like Mephiston that can create flaming wings, pause time, and fight like a fucking anime character. It's a huge spectrum made up of many different disciplines. For example, there is biomancy, divination, pyromancy, telekinesis, and telepathy, all with their own host of abilities. Space Marines can and often do host a number of psychers in their chapter, called librarians because they're fucking nerds or something, I don't know. Now Warhammer actually does have a bit of a power scaling for psychers. The lowest genuine tier is Epsilon, which is a psyker with basic but notable powers. Shit like being able to read one person's mind at a time or having really advanced intuition are characteristics of this. Then it goes Delta, which can actually be quite powerful, getting the ability to conjure up fire or lightning. After that is Gamma, who you really don't want to fuck with, and then there's Beta after that. Beta psychers are considered incredibly powerful and is thought to be close to the highest psychic power a normal human can have without going insane. Alpha and Alpha Plus psychers are a step above this. Very few humans can be Alpha or Alpha Plus without being incredibly twisted in both body and mind. Space Marine librarians are known to be able to get to this level, but it is rare even for them. The only Alpha Plus Space Marines that I can think of are Tigris, who is able to slap the Tyranid hive mind, and Mephiston, who yeah, it's fucking OP as shit. It's important to note that just because a Psyker has a high grade doesn't make them super powerful or skilled. A Delta grade Psyker who has honed their skills for years and is soul bound to the Emperor will probably beat a rogue Beta Psyker pretty easily. Think of it like a fight between a bodybuilder and a small Asian man who has a black belt in Jiu Jitsu and is great at Muay Thai. I'd put my money on the little Asian dude every time. An example of this is when during the second Eisenhorn book, shit goes south and a whole bunch of Alpha and Alpha Plus psychers escape from captivity. Eisenhorn is about a Gamma level psyker, but he was able to kill multiple Alpha Plus psychers and he even resisted a direct attack on his mind by an Alpha Plus psyker for long enough to survive and for help to arrive. For those wondering, the Emperor doesn't even fit into the scale of psychers, he's just so far beyond it. Maybe in his body and flesh form, he could be considered Alpha Plus Plus, with Malkador and Magnus being Alpha Plus, but at this point, it just feels silly saying it out loud. I'm using my highly potent Alpha Plus Psyker powers to aid my acolytes. Oh, I miss TTS. Remember kids, it's not the girth of the psycho powers that matters, it's how you use it. If you enjoyed the video and you want to support the channel, then Patreon is the place to be. Where only $1 per month give you access to a boatload of spicy ass battle mace 40 million hentai. Hit the subscribe button and hit the real subscribe button for more psychic content. Join the discord for more memes and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.